Hi everyone, this is Hannah here. I hope that y'all are having a great day. Um, I wanted to do a couple of things on this video. Um, I received my first ever happy mail from a, a subscriber, really pretty. She made um, her own postcard and it looks like she made it out of a cardboard or chipboard and then she painted it and then mod podged these um you know pieces of paper on here and i thought it was so beautiful mm. and then i'm going to just cover her uh, name and address up but she sent a sweet little note and um, I thought that was just so sweet. I, I was so excited when I got that in the mail because um, I don't I don't really request to receive happy mail. Um, you know, I mean, I would love to receive it, but you know, I just you know, I guess I I figure we're just all busy and I don't want to bother anybody. But that was so sweet to receive that. So. Um, you know, I just wanted to say thank you, uh, Marsha, for sending that. That's really, that was really sweet. It really made my day. Um, also, another thing I wanted to do, um, I have hit uh, 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel. Um, well, it's, it's a little more than 100 now. Um, but I wanted to do a thank you giveaway challenge type thing um and so basically we're going to have three different prizes uh because you know um just to have more people to win um you know i am one of those that rarely ever wins at anything so if there's a giveaway and there's just one person that's going to win it I pretty much know it's not going to be me. <laughs> I just don't have that kind of luck. So I thought, well, if I do three prizes, you know, maybe one of those um, people that are, you know, kind of like me in my situation where I rarely ever win, that will give you more of a chance to win. Um, so I wanted to go over the prizes. Um, and, you know, as you know, on my channel... Um, and with the subscription boxes that I sell, I have scrapbooking, I have junk journaling, I have mixed media. Now, mixed media can get into all kinds of stuff. Um, so this is a mixed media prize. These are some paints, um, uh, Dilusions by Ranger, uh, and they're blendable acrylic paint. Um, so my thought is that would be great for art journaling, you know, art journaling. It kind of takes junk journaling to a whole new level when you're doing painting, um, you know, you're putting a little mixed media to it. So I thought that that would be super fun. Um, so this is kind of my mixed media art journaling, um, a prize. So you get crushed grape rose quartz london blue um you get these tim holtz distress paint uh twisted citron abandoned coral and then these stencils this is a pack of um i don't know how you say that faber faber <laughs> the faber castell that's how i'm gonna say <laughs> Um, these have never been used. Um, whenever you open them up, um, you'll see that it's like, um, like a, you know, a thin, uh, a chipboard. And these are reusable. So this one says, design your life. This one says, dream. And it has it going forwards and backwards. Uh, this one says, Love Life. Be Awesome. 
that beautiful smile. I like that one. And then this one has numbers on it. And this one has letters. Beautiful. I like that one too. This one said, and this one says hello in different language. Hello, hola, bonjour. Uh, I don't know what said. Guten Tag. I don't know what some of these other ones are. <laughs> and then here's just some other numbers. Um, so that was, how many stencils was that? A 10. Okay, so 10 stencils. So that is a pretty good package for you to either just kind of get your feet wet on some art journaling or mixed media or if you're already into it um, this is a great addition to your stash so you can have some extra goodies to uh, create and then also we have um, this is um, more or less like a junk journal kit um, and so you have your Tim Holtz papers and so you have these uh, this is a 12 by 12 sheet that you can actually cut um, you know the individual uh, squares and then these are the larger squares And then these are just the 12 by 12 sheets, double sided. And I love Tim Holtz paper. I just I absolutely do. And most of y'all may already be familiar with, um, you know, with you know, with his products. I know I have been using them for years. Because I just absolutely love him. Now, a couple of these pages, the glue stuck. So, but, I mean, for me, that's not a big deal. I usually distress my edges anyway. So, it's just going to give it more of a worn look. So that's not a deal breaker for me. Um, I hope it's not for you. But I am always distressing my edges, inking my edges, um, you know, either with the ink pads or actually taking the alcohol ink and brushing it on there. Um, so you know, it's gonna cover it up either way. And then this is a vintage uh, sewing pattern, um, and it's in really good shape, actually. I love vintage sewing patterns. I think most of these are cut. Yes, yeah, so all the pieces have been cut. They are intact um, because I go through my patterns whenever I purchase them because I want to make sure that they're, um, you know, in good condition because some people reuse these to actually make uh, clothes. I know I have. Um, and then some people... Um, you know, re repurpose it, um, you know, like with junk journals and, um, you know, and I've done that too, so. And then this is a pack of flowers. I thought that these were just cute. I love the little flowers with the little bead on them, you know, just real natural, earthy. And personally, I like flat uh, flowers for my junk journals. I don't like big bulky stuff. And then this is some really pretty lace. Um, uh, from Blue Fern Studios, and it's like a cream ivory color, and it's just really pretty. So that would be great too, um, if you wanted to put it on the cover, or you could just cut out the, 
you know, the various appliques and glue them um, onto your pages. I just, I think it's just beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then also um, some uh, tea stained pages. These are five eight and a half by eleven tea stained pages. Then this is some Lindy's um, Stamp Gang spray, Starburst spray in. Uh, <laughs> Gag me with a spoon gray. <laughs> uh, that's a funny title. And then also, um, this is a Prima Marketing Say It in Pearls. Little swirl flourish with the flowers. I think that's so pretty. And then these are just some Tim Holtz pieces. Ooh. So these are pretty neat to have, just, just kind of to put some stuff throughout your, um, you know, your journal. This is a spool of some navy thread. This is some hemp cord, um, and there's, I think, a good yard of this. So this could be used uh, to sew your journal together. You could use this for it. Um, or you could just kind of use it however you want to. Um, here is some, um, this is a vintage lace. <clears throat> and then this is some crochet uh, trim. I love this stuff. And then this is a little red lace trim. And then this is some Tim Holtz washi tape. So I thought that was, um, you know, that would be something really fun to do. Um, and then this is kind of more for, um, you know, card makers. Um, these are some really pretty, uh, I love Kay and Company. They come up with the, the prettiest um, uh, colors and designs. They do a lot of floral uh, and butterfly designs, which I absolutely love. Um, so in this, it is 10 acetate um, uh, pieces made to look like a frame. And these would be really fun, I think, for, um, you know, for shaker cards. These would be really neat. There's more pictured here. These are just beautiful. I love these. And then some Prima Marketing stamps. These are the Julie Nutting stamps and then these have uh, just all kinds of different little sayings so I thought that would be neat and then some ink as well and then as I can come up with some other stuff I'm going to add it with it too um, but this challenge um, is going to be just be worldwide uh, for uh, subscribers on my YouTube channel so basically with this a 100 subby giveaway challenge. The requirements are uh, to be subscribed to my YouTube channel and then also leave me a comment under this video that uh, saying that you are participating so that way I can make a note of it for whenever you're um, you know to kind of know when you're when you're going to be sending your stuff in, so I can kind of just make a mental note. Um, and then also, with the subscription boxes, I send out um, a handwritten thank you card in each of those. So it would be awesome if you could help me out um, by sending me two three by three thank you cards. Um, you know, however you want to make those. It, it doesn't really matter to me. There's no requirement. They can just be simple and plain. They can be pretty and embellished. It doesn't matter. Um, just, just have fun with it, whatever you want to create. So those are the three requirements. Um, be a subscriber on my channel. Leave a comment to let me know you're participating and to send me two three by three thank you cards. Um, if you would like to have, um, 
your name put in an extra time, um, then here's two other things that you can simply just to get your name put in three times instead of one time. Um, if you wanted to send me anything else besides the thank you cards, you'll get an extra entry for that. Um, also, um, if you're doing the challenge and you want to give a shout out about this video on either on YouTube or uh, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, Pinterest with a link to this video so that way someone can you know come to the video and it would be easier for them to get to the video and participate if they wanted to. That will also give you an extra entry. Um, so you could get, you know, three entries, you know, in the giveaway. So that way, give you more of a chance to, you know, to get something. Basically, you know, I just wanted to keep it simple. Um, some of the giveaways are kind of hard. Uh, you know, the challenges. I wanted to do one uh, last month. And I was like, I do not have time to make all of that stuff that they're requiring me to make. <laughs> so, you know, I thought these thank you cards would, it would help me out. And it would also be something super easy and quick for you to do. Because I know we're all busy. I really do uh, want to take the time to say thank you for um, subscribing to my channel. You know, commenting, liking my videos. I'm just being, you know, a part of, you know, the community thing we've got going on. And, I'm, you know, I try to be a social as best as I can. Sometimes I kind of get called away on the busyness of everything. But, um, you know, I'm trying to, you know, pop my head up a little bit more. <laughs> and be more involved um, with all of you. So I do thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions at all and y'all have a great evening. Bye.